CBT News on location in Las Vegas for the 2020 NADA show. I hope you're having a great show and thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule. I, I, I love this. I love NADA. It's so exciting. It is. And we get to see a lot of people. That's right. That we don't get to see very often. Yeah. Anyway, it's a lot yeah. of energy here. Yeah, it and really is. There's some big changes going on in the market. I'll yeah. talk about it. That's in a right. Bit, yeah, we're going to talk about I'd that. I'd like to here shortly. Give, you, give you my insights because yeah. you know, big things are happening. Yeah, they are. They are. So let's kind of jump right in and, and talk a little bit about that. Um, first, let's talk a little bit about uh, Rapid Recon. You know, you, you've been on CBT News a number of times, and I know that we've done a number of segments with dealers. Uh, we get a lot of great feedback and emails from dealers whenever you're on to talk about that and talk about the other dealers. But for the few dealers that are out there that are saying, Rapid Recon, hmm, that's, that's not a name that I'm familiar with. What solution do you bring to dealers? Well, we started out getting reconditioning or in an order. In the beginning, there was really no accountability. It was all a joke. Well, we've, we've got made that now to where it's no longer a joke and people are measuring it and managing it and feeling good about being accountable. That was the first big step. Right. Second big step was to help them speed the process up <coughs> using metrics that they then owned. And that and now that's happening too. The idea of getting down to a couple of days because you only really have three weeks to sell a car before you are better off uh, dropping the price or getting rid of it. It really literally is right there in front of you. Three weeks, that's it. That's right. And if it takes you a week or two to get the car ready, you, you're going to be dropping that price a lot faster than that's you exactly think. exactly right. Yeah. But I think what's happening in my world is that we're now realizing we have 20,000 dealers, and more than half of them, at least, all, their salespeople are using it as well. Oh, that's awesome. And what they're doing now is very interesting. They're helping to build value in the deal mm -hmm. right from the first call they get. From, from what's been done on the vehicle. Yes, yeah. okay, because they can see in Rapid what's been done, yep. and uh, then, uh, and, and of course, why do you do all this anyway? It's to sell a car. That's right? right, that's right. We've announced two things here. One is called a Vendor Advantage, which deals with making all the cosmetic stuff as important and central to the reconditioning okay. process, our time to line, yeah. as everything else. Right. And so we're giving them what they need so they can prioritize and say, I've, I'm done. Uh, and then we're, we were announcing another thing called Live Locate because the next big thing is, okay, now I've, I've got everybody excited about this thing, yeah. but, but I need to know exactly where the car is and where the keys are. Right, right. So that right. addresses that. Yeah, part. that's huge, that's huge. I mean, and, and we all know, I'm putting my car dealer hat on right now, but we all know you can lose a deal based on the fact somebody walks in and waits too long just to find out where the vehicle is Yep. in you know 300 vehicles across the lot right even yep. if, it, if, if it might even be off the lot right yes there's a there's this i think we call it a i call it a trust point yeah which is that first contact yep. either comes in from an ad that goes up right. i saw this car right and it gets to a salesperson or the bdc and you're either going to say one or two things well let me look let me see if i can figure that out and call you back yeah and that's about a one out of three follow through. <laughs> that's right. But, but what you really want to say is, well, let me look, and they can do it on their phone. Oh, yeah. I see where it is. It's it's in it's in uh, mechanical right now. We right. just put tires and brakes and so on, and and it it'll be available next day or the day two. You know, two days to, for you to see it. Right. And you're giving them specific, and that's changed to two out of three. Yeah. So, so this is a that's double huge. That's huge. the opportunity. That's right. And, and you're already paying for those leads, you're paying for that to come, for those people to come to you. That's right. So that, that point, that little point there, yeah. that first, in, first yeah. communication. Is that something? It's, a, it's probably the highest return of anything you can yeah. think about yeah. doing. Yeah. When you go into the average dealership and, and they say, oh, we don't think we have much of a problem you know, getting cars out of recon, they're probably in there for a few days. What are you typically finding on the average? How many days are they actually in the recon process? Uh, at least uh, around 12, 12. 12 days. Yeah. yeah. You know, and, and, and it's because they've been selectively remembering this so they won't embarrass themselves. <laughs> and so they always like right. to send their GM off to their 20 sure. group meeting with, oh, it's two or three days. Oh, yeah. And that's really just trying to tell them what he wants to hear. Are you which saying is, lies are being told at 20 group meetings? I would never say that. <laughs> but, 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 but they go around the table, you know, and they're trying right. to help each other I know. get better. I know. But 
if they don't trust the numbers, I know. when they couldn't, unless you have a way to measure it and manage it, that's right. and people want to be accountable, there's yeah. no way. That's right. You can't work on something yeah. until you get your hands around it. That's right, until you so know there's a problem. Yeah. And then so when you go in, I imagine when you guys go into a dealership and you uncover, oh, guess what, it's actually 12, 13 days, A, you probably have a target on your back from somebody at the store, but B, it's an eye opener for the dealer to go, oh my gosh, how much are we bleeding in the way of money because these vehicles are sitting in recon for 12, 13 days. Yeah, I mean, we, we usually don't come in from an auditing standpoint. Okay. When they, they, they self-identify, okay. we don't go out and try and shake them and say, you've got this reconditioning problem because <laughs> they don't want to listen. They, they, oh, they already understand. Right. And so we wait till they explode. Right. Okay. And then they come in and they say, I got this problem. I don't know where my cars are. I mean, right. literally, it's what? No, no, I, I don't I, know where my I, cars are. I with was a few, right there with those guys. Yeah, I mean, with I, a few expletives in there. Exactly right. And and uh, and so they know they have a problem. Yeah. And then our job is to get the the, the, the people that are invested in it, the fixed mm -hmm. ops director, the used car manager, sure. inventory manager, get them together and, and have them agree on what the goal is. Right. Because. It, it has to make all of their lives better. Right. And so that's what we've learned how to do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, that's and they, and, and, but you, they can't, some of them come in and say, well, I went to a 20 group meeting and I was talking about this problem. I don't know where my cars are. And three people in there are using rapid recon. Right. And, and then that, that guy will come back and say, come, I want to have what he has. It's a coming to Jesus party. Yeah. And we say, well, it doesn't work that way. Okay. <laughs> Your problem's different than theirs. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, so we have to we have to take a step through. Sure. So we get to this, your people own it, and they're continually evolving the, right. the improving process. That's right. Hey, before I let you get out of here, talk to us a little bit about your new book. We, we launched it on CBT News, got a lot of great responses from it. A lot of people want to, I'm sure they're coming by the booth to say, hey, I want to get a copy, maybe a signed copy. Yep. Talk to us about what somebody's going to learn in the new book. Okay, well, it is a collection of like the first one, a collection of interviews. This right. one is a, a, a little nicer book, color yeah. and all that stuff. A whole lot of new interviews. Right. But really, the first book was there about kind of getting people thinking about the time to line. Mm -hmm. Not just the reconditioning time, but from the time they own the car. Sure. Okay? The next book is really about inventory as a waste. Okay. And Because the, no, the more we know about the market, right. and the market is coming at us, it yeah. literally is coming at us. Right. Dale Pollock's talking about it, how things have changed. I know, I know. Nobody, it's a whole and, new normal. Right, a new normal. And right. it's not provision first, it's yeah. we got to sell first. That's right. And so we're right dead center in that because that's really what we do. We're a sales tool right. and, and uh, the reason you do everything else is to make it that's right. saleable and, and, and as early as possible. And, you're, and you can see the whole thing now. We talk to these people about how does Starbucks do it? Well, they don't put all every, all the inventory out there at one time. <laughs> no, they don't. They'd be in trouble if they did. They, want, they have to use that, that, that <laughs> scarcity factor. And that only works That's exactly for a while. Right. Dennis Begin, the, the, uh, the official of uh, Rapid Recon and, and all things recon. Check out his booth if you're here. If you're not here, go to it's rapidrecon.com, right? Yep. Okay, rapidrecon.com for dealers that weren't able to make it out to the NADA convention here in Vegas, and that's uh, probably the vast majority of dealers out there. But uh, but check it out, rapidrecon.com. I know you're going to like what you see, and uh, you know if you've got a you know you got that little question, you know that's bothering you. Hey, how many days is, are my vehicles actually in inventory once they hit the lot, uh, and you want to fix it in 2020? He's the guy that can help you with that. So again, Dennis McGann, thank you so much for joining me. Thank Always you, a pleasure. Appreciate it. Yep. Thank you.